you know, Paul said, Behold, I show you a great mystery of Christ and His church, meaning the type and shadow of the marriage. And a lot of people, they don't even know what that means. They don't even, they have no clue. I mean, it's a great mystery. If it's a great mystery, why don't you want to know what it means? <laughs> you know? The people go their whole life and don't even think about that verse. He said, Behold, I'll show you a great mystery. But you don't want to know what that is? Are you are you just are you just like stupid? <laughs> So, so the Apostle Paul shows you the greatest, one of the greatest mysteries out there. One mystery, the, the mystery the devil didn't see is uh, faith alone and Jesus alone. The mystery that the devil missed was faith alone and Jesus alone. That's the, that's the big mystery of the whole Bible. And that's why they attack it because they don't want to know what it means. And so, why would they attack? How do they attack uh, Christ and His Church, the Adam and Eve male and female story? How do they attack that? They attack it because they don't believe in authority. They attack it because they want to they want to usurp the man's authority in the home. They attack it. Uh, with witchcraft, they attack it with um, idolatry. They attack it on every end because of, I haven't looked the word great up, but it's but it has to mean it's an overarching pattern because everywhere you look, you got a head and you got a body. In Ephesians, he's talking about husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church, and wives submit to your husbands as unto, as unto the Lord. He said, Behold, I'll show you a great mystery of Christ in this church. And so that pattern is, not only is it evident, it's screaming out everywhere you look. The sun and the moon. The types and shadows are screaming everywhere all the time. And the only way you can't see them is because you don't want to see them because they're right in front of you. Everything is screaming the truth. It's yell The universe is yelling at you. The types and shadows. When, a, when you look at a tree, it grows upright. What is a tree? It's true because it's going up. It's, it's stable, it's faithful, it's upright, it's steady state. Tree, true, faithful, it's faithful, all faithful. Faith, full of faith, faithful, faithful, full of faith. Just like script, your, your script. Just like per sun, per the sun. like planets is plan of ET the plan the plan is written in the planets the plan is written in the planets written in the stars it's a script it, all, it is written Jesus said it is written it is written it is written Okay, if it is written, who wrote it? God, how, what did he write? He wrote a script. That's why it's called scripture. Come on. But anyway, the Adam and Eve story is where the word, the word two comes from. Down here. But there's a two in heaven. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Christ in you, you're in Christ. Hid in Christ in God, by faith alone, in Jesus alone. You enter in by faith. A man just wants the woman to be loyal. 
she don't have to be perfect. She don't have to follow some rule. He just wants loyalty, you know. The woman just wants the man to love her. I mean, the the two the two think different. One's a piece cut off, being cut back in. The other one's the lead. The leader has the seed. The lead has the seed. The responder has the the womb. Honey, it's not complicated. This is so easy. This is so easy. I, I don't even have words for it. The the types and the shadows, the anti-types, the the uh, uh, archetypes, the overarching patterns the like the fabric of space time the fabric of space time fabric of space time what is fabric a cloth what is cloth the clergy what is clergy the saints the fabric of space time the stars point to the story everything in your life points to the story of Christ and his church and what Jesus did at the cross and how the believers receive Christ into their hearts, receive the word of God into their heart by faith, the womb of their heart. They receive the truth and get saved. And then you get transformed day by day into the image of Christ, sanctification process. So you're being transformed into the image of Christ. When the woman and the man get together, the man and the woman have a baby and those stem cells go attached to her brain she becomes like the man when we see Jesus we'll be like him the church why do you think the, the black culture call the woman shorty She's just an image. She's a copy of the man. She's an image. She's a short version of the man. Behold, I show you a great mystery. The two shall become one. It's a spiritual oneness in Christ. Why do you think marriage is so hard? Because you're having, you're having a situation where two oxen are yoked up and when one pulls their head one way, the, the yoke pulls the other way. So they're trying to pull back and forth the yoke, but they don't, they're both fighting each other. But they're, every time they pull, their neck is connected. So they're pulled by the neck. Connect. That's why it's necked. Connected to the neck. That's why it sounds similar. But it's all a simulation because the types and shadows are just showing you a deeper truth. And when you step into those deeper truths, you understand that when God made man in his image, God made man in his image, made he male and female. In the book of Genesis, you got the creation story, then you go to Genesis 2, and you got another creation story, but it's the same story, he's just giving you more detail. More detail. That's why women pay attention to details because that's the tail that follows. There's the head and the tail. The details. That's why Ford Motor Company picked women to work on assembly line because women pay more attention to detail. That's why she's. That's why the the slang is the tail. so obvious the signs are everywhere <laughs> and I'm looking at the sign going down the highway the bridge from one side to the other uh, of comp comprehending these types and shadows and rightly dividing the word of truth is Jesus it's Christ in you it's the Holy Spirit if you can't rightly divide the word of truth it's probably because you don't either you don't have the Holy Spirit or you don't exercise it I know some saved women, they know that. They know how to rightly divide the word. Because they listen to some good preachers. 
their mind is sharp. There's some saved women out there that are a whole lot more than saved men. It's pretty amazing. So the number two came from that union, right? Talks, the Bible talks about a two-fold cord and a three-fold cord. It's hard to break a two-fold cord, but a three-fold cord is almost impossible. rope tie you take a rope and you tie it together right tie a knot it's all so obvious it's not even funny and people resist it and they run from it and they hide from it and they think they're going to outdo God but God is everywhere Every God's truth is encoded in everything and so they run and hide and scream and yell and try to use witchcraft and sorcery and rebellion and stubbornness to hide from God but God is encoded in everything because God is everywhere and everything points back to Jesus because everything preaches Jesus everything preaches Jesus just because you can't see it don't mean it ain't true it only you don't even need to see it praise God he allowed me to see it but you don't even need to see it it only it makes sense the creation the creation was created by the creator and so everything in the creation has to point back to the creator and so all these CERN and scientists and all these other mathematicians trying to figure out what this place is well Behold, I show you a mystery. Christ and his church. God is drawing mankind back to himself. And notice they don't say the word draw. It's a script. God is drawing you back to himself. Why is it called draw? Why is it when you draw on a piece of paper, it's the same word? Because it's all connected. It's all connected neck at the neck. So I don't care what words you use. I don't care what uh, phraseology you use. I don't care how, what language you speak, what phonics. It, I don't care if it's slang, vulgar. I don't care what it is. It still points to Jesus. Proper English or vulgar English still points to the types of shadows. You can't escape it. You live in him. We live and breathe and have our being. Everything we speak, eat, drink, think, do, meditate on is a because he exists to fight against it is insanity.